Hello there, everybody. It is I, Angel Star Two Nine One, here yet again, and this time with part, uh, part seventeen of my Jack Two Let's Play. In the last part, we uh, did a class one race. Use the Titan suit again to destroy a bunch of things, security things. I don't know what those things are, and. Uh, and told Ashlyn that, it's, that her father is planning something horrible. Which we all know by this point. But anyway, in this part... Now, uh, the light's showing us that we have to go over there. But I'm actually going to go back to the dig. Because I found out that I missed two precursor orbs over here. I know how ironic, right? At least I think there are two. Either two or three. And they're in kind of really stupid places. Actually, I actually had no idea they were in kind of stupid places. A lot of the precursor orbs are in really stupid places, I'm not gonna lie there. You can farm for, for skull gems if you like here. Like, I've got enough for actually a, another of ja Dark Jack's abilities. I could get it right now, but I'm going to get it later. Um, but anyway. What I'm going to do here is I'm... The precursor orbs are in the deeper part of the dig, actually. I'm just kind of just spamming my way through here, to be honest. Because I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I've already got everything done here. I mean, I don't really need to do anything here. I'm kind of just, you know, blasting my way through. Because this is the part where I'm not really supposed to be at. I could just cut there, so... I probably will do that. So I'll cut you guys- I'll cut it to where I- to when I get there. Alright, I'm back here now. You remember this part where we had to climb up to this platforming stuff? Uh, remember when I said that you do die here if you fall? If you fall from a high platform, you do, but if you go down like this, you don't. That's ironic. You can actually walk around here, too. You can walk around here and nothing will happen to you. You, I mean, I've never gotten burned by the fire. Don't touch that. I think you might get burned if you touch that. So yeah, don't touch that. Whoa, I forgot about these guys being here. But yeah, here, I forgot about this. I forgot to show you guys this, too, that you can actually just walk around here and you're fine. By the way, I got Dark Jack on the way, so... Yeah, if you want to farm skull gems, like I said, you, this is a good place, to be honest. Just don't touch the lava, don't touch anything that looks remotely dangerous, and don't stand on this one spot right here or that'll happen. So yeah, don't stand, don't stand in that one spot. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh, go away. Uh. Call skull gems I missed. Die. Certain places, I guess you're not supposed to stand on because of the boulders. But anyway, it's not the best idea to stand around here. Because, yeah, again, you can get, you know, really bad. <laughs> that would be really bad for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's not why I was down here. I just wanted to show you guys that. But anyway, there are two precursor orbs right here. One of them is right here. Really hidden stupidly. But anyway, oh my gosh, more skull gem collecting. Give me your skull gems, bitches. Woo! And the other one, ironically, it took me a little while to find to find the other one actually, and uh, I figured out where it was. It's uh, actually right over here. Took me a while to figure it out actually. For this one, it really did. It's right over here. <laughs> Oh man, that is, like I said, some of these precursor orbs are in really, really stupid places. <laughs> Just saying, they are. But anyway, I think that was the last precursor orb here. If there is one I missed, I will come back and get it. And I'm gonna get out of this place, so I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Alright, I am here again, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that. Anyway, uh, 
What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to the weapons factory. That light that's showing us up there. Oh, by the way, I, you could have taken the teleporter out of here, but I decided to just take the, the regular way out because I don't want to show uh, certain things until until after I get back from here. So I decided not to do that this time. You need special black clearance for this door. Access granted. You have to have that black pass to get in here, so be sure to do that. One of the- there are five precursor orbs here. One of them is right here. Actually, it's really stupidly located. I do know where other two are, and then there's t other two that are just in other stupid places. Seriously, some of these orbs are the stupidest of places. Ugh. Yep. Uh. I hope to get them off. If I don't, I'll just come back here and get them. I know there are five. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not dealing with your bullshit. I'm sorry. This place is difficult. For a platforming section, this place is rather difficult. And I know people who bitched about how hard this place is. And it really is as hard as they say it is. It really is. Oh my gosh, will you guys stop shooting the hell out of me? These things, these guys are gonna shoot you and kill you and uh, they want you dead. They literally want you dead. To climb back up, ground, climb on the jet board, it'll beat the speed of it eventually. So, you know, if you want to climb back up here, just use jet board. But what I would suggest here is go in here and press this button. You gotta dive into it. That's going to turn this thing off. But you kind of knew that already <laughs> at this point. Uh, like I said, the precursor orbs are in really stupid places. Ah! Guy, <laughs> asshole. Uh, um. Okay, I think I know where another one is. I, 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 I think. I mean, I might be wrong though. Like I said, I might be completely wrong about this. I am not a hundred percent sure what I'm doing where the precursor orbs are. To be honest, I only know where like. One, two, maybe three of them are, but that's about it. The other ones are just the... I'm not sure if I, if me knowing them where they are is actually very accurate. And I looked it up, so... Okay, for this part, take out your Vulcan barrel and shoot these things like crazy. Trust me, it's the key for this one. I know I said that the Vulcan barrel is very situational. I still think it is, but it's very useful in situations like that. I haven't really shown the Peacemaker. I should probably do that. See these path of enemies? Well, if it'll aim. Sometimes the Peacemaker doesn't aim right. They can take it down. Enemies like in patterns. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool shit. Pretty cool shit. You have to spin on this thing, getting on top of it, or just spinning on it, kind of crazy stuff. Like I said, some of the precursor orbs are in some of the stupidest places I can't even remember. And this place there in Rizal, it's in a really steep place. Now, I think the precursor orb next one is right here. Yes, it is. It is. Good, 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 good. That's an elevator. Hold on, let me check and see if there's another one. Cause I, 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 I think the the peacemaker is probably your best weapon here. Just saying. Don't always use the peacemaker though, cause it does run out really quick. Probably the best weapon here is the Vulcan barrel. To be honest, I think it is, and I think everyone will agree with me in this case. At least I think so. I might be wrong though. <laughs> I may be wrong in that situation. For this part, use your jet board to jump over these things. Cause if you get hit by these things, oh my gosh, it's easy to get hit by these things. I'm not gonna lie, especially with it slowing down. There's another precursor orb right up here. Now for this one, be careful here. Uh, don't use the Vulcan barrel. Use the blaster here to not waste. And then if you want to play it like a fun kind of game, do a flip on here. <laughs> if you want to make it a, a bit fun. 
like I said, there are five here, and I only know where the other one is. Do I know exactly where the exact last one is? So that's why I'm looking around everywhere, because I forgot where one of them was, but I do know where one is. It's, I just couldn't put my finger on it. Again, just keep blasting on these things. And do the, you gotta do a flip on this one. If you don't, you're not gonna make it. So do a flip here. You're not gonna make it if you don't. Yeah, these guys are everywhere. Oh, wait, now I remember where the last one was. Now I remember, now I remember, now I remember. Okay, now I remember where it was. Okay, uh, go back here. There are two ways to get it. You can go back here. And here it is. Or the other way is to fall down from above. Because you won't fall here even if you fall off because the it's a full-on thing. So if you fall off here, you have nothing to worry about. You're fine. Jump over here because it's a pit. Again, you'll fall. You'll fall. I have to start this whole thing all over again. So, Oh my gosh, this that, that health pack always glitches. It's stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. I always try to see if I could like hit that. I wonder if I can hide you get it. Can I hide you and get it? No, I can't. Okay. I was just trying. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Whee! Okay. For this one, you have to shoot these and climb on top. It's weird, I know, but I don't know why you have to do this. I have no idea why you have to do this. It's weird. Um, but anyway, uh, do the same thing here. Watch out here. You can fall here, so watch out. There we go. Now for this one, use your Vulcan barrel again if that doesn't happen. I hate these enemies sometimes. I really do. Uh, it's okay though. It's very... Uh, okay, this is getting a little annoying now, actually. Uh, it's getting a little bit annoying. Cause this place, this part right here is not even the hard part. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not even the hard part of this level, really. <laughs> uh, and I got like four out of the five precursor orbs. That's pretty good, Dad. That's pretty good. Now, here's where you have the Vulcan barrel. You'll have, actually there's a crate that'll carry a bunch of Vulcan barrels. So if you need it, it helps. And that switch will open, so hey, there's a health pack right there too if you need it. I'm gonna restock on the Vulcan barrel and get some health. Also, what does this switch do? I never really pressed. Oh, right, it led up there. I forgot. I forget shit. I'm sorry. They can't aim, apparently. The Peacemaker is your best weapon in here, and the final precursor orb is right here. That makes 123, and also stop shooting me, you freaking assholes, will ya? Thank you. Ugh. Some of the enemies here, they're annoying. They really are. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, hold on a moment, guys. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so... We're supposed to spin this thing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, check some things out, and, you know, try to get rid of these guys that are right over here wanting to kick my ass. Assholes. Huh. All right, because that one spins that way. Okay, that, that works, I guess. Watch out, more of these guys again. Good. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yeah. Just keep spinning, doing this shit. You gotta kind of do this. Don't fall or you will die, so don't fall. <laughs> Just saying, don't fall. <laughs> Oh, Peacemaker, sweet! Gimme! There are no precursor orbs down here, so you're good. You're pretty much good at this point. 
fucking barrel is your friend here. So be sure to stuck on it as much as you can here. Just saying. You'll see why in just one moment. I actually I actually checked down here to see if there are any precursor orbs and there aren't any, so don't worry about it. It was only those five that I pointed out. And this is what I meant! These guys will come and they're gonna try to start spinning towards you. So a good idea is to spin, I guess, and try to like try not to get hit, because if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. Oh, there's still more. Whoa, I almost got hit there. <laughs> but I didn't. I almost got hit there, but I didn't. I got it on my first try. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Just saying, it's pretty good. And what do we got here? An elevator? Cool. To be honest, I'm surprised how well I did here. Even though I fell out of stupidity, but no deaths. This is probably my best run on the weapons factory. It really is. But anyway, let's see what's going on. I knew you were special when I first met you, Jack. And I commend you for making it this far. We've come a long way, eh? Yeah, I'm getting real teary-eyed. I love weapons. I love how they look, how they feel, <gasps> even how they smell. I think you need serious help. My favorite <laughs> was the impossibly powerful weapon Ma built to blast open the metal head nest. Poor fool died before he could use it. Ah, oh, well. But I have a new favorite, the piercer bomb I've just completed. My masterpiece is powerful enough to crack open the precursor stone and release the untold energy inside. As soon as the Baron shows up with a stone, ha. the last shipment of Eco and deliver it to the metalhead nest. A surprise dessert, eh? <laughs> just take this gun upgrade and forget what you saw here. Not this time, crew. I'm through being your hired gun. Then it's war, isn't it? And here we have the next boss fight. Okay, for this part, what I suggest is, since if you're low on health like I am right now, I would suggest just using this time to restock. To be honest, I think it's the right thing to do. To be honest, I think it's a very, very good idea. If you're low on health like I am, just restock first and then go all out. Just me, though. Just me. Uh, cause I think it's better that way, at least I think so. And then I'm gonna do this. Ooh. Luckily these things only take one damage, so I did that on purpose so I can restock ammo. Plus, you don't wanna do this in low health. You really don't wanna do this in low health. But anyway, this is Krill, and for me, to be honest, he's actually kind of tricky. For this po first part, I suggest using the Vulcan Barrel to get rid of these guys. To be honest, I think it's a very good idea. To be honest, for the Vulcan Barrel, I this is me, my own personal strategy. I mean, you don't have to follow it because it can be a little bit tricky. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why further into this battle. There's a reason why I like using the Vulcan Barrel here. I will explain it. Don't worry, I will. I will definitely explain it. <laughs> There's still one more of these guys around here. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. You gotta destroy all the green little guys and then the life bar appears. Crew's gonna shoot some guns at you. I suggest just using your blaster. Don't use anything else but your blaster against him. He's gonna summon more guys and these guys are faster. So here's where I suggest you use the scatter gun. Use your scatter gun. It is handy, and I mean incredibly handy in this fight. Just saying, it has helped me get through a lot of shit in this fight. Because I remember when I did this fight the first time, I rage quit it so much because these guys kept on coming towards me. But oh my gosh, the scatter gun is super freaking handy in this fight. It really is. Yeah, don't touch them. Don't punch them. Just use your scatter gun. This second phase, yeah, use your scatter gun. Well, just keep on attracting them closer to you every time, and then use your scatter gun. 
Trust me, it's very handy. It's helped me a lot in very, very good situations like this. Especially with the upgraded gun that you have. It is so handy. In this fight, anyway. <laughs> oh, whoa, that guy is coming towards me. If there are a few of them, you can go with the blaster the or the Vulcan barrel, but nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Try not to get shot! You can... You can spin shoot... Okay, now here, these things are gonna go incredibly fast towards you. So, yeah, you might want to be careful in this last phase right here. This last phase right here, oh yeah, no. These things are gonna go really fast towards you. So, here's what I suggest. Attract them. Then attack them as fast as you can, if you can, anyway. And then keep running for your life! Uh, Cause they're gonna- they're fast! They really are fast! So you might wanna run for your life. Attract them, just keep running, long jumping is your friend. Don't- don't jet board. I think you might screw yourself if you use a jet board. Again, I never done it, so I never really do it. This is just my own strategy. If you think it, this is not- if you guys have a better strategy, let me know, because this is the strategy I've got. <laughs> this is just my own strategy. Whoa! Sometimes these guys drop health packs. Whoa. These guys sometimes drop... Whoa, 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 whoa. If I take one more hit, I'm dead. Well, two more hits. Um, Just keep attracting... Like I said, they're fast. They're going to come towards you really, really fast. So that... Yeah. Don't... Ugh. This fight is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, it really is. Uh, especially with this last phase right here. It's... Do I think it's the hardest fight in the game? Kinda, maybe. Keep moving, cause like again, again, I'm low on health. It's really bad for me. Just keep moving and spin shooting, so that way, if you're low on health like I am, so that way you don't get hit. Just this is just. This is my safe side, because I don't... Because I am low on health. <laughs> That's why. Now you've got us mad, and the challenger is down for the count. <laughs> is it too late to give my notice? Yeah, we quit. The city is already dead. I've sold you all out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, I think maybe we should be anywhere else just about now! Ashley? We're out of here! <sighs> you guys find my father. I'll take the heart of Marta Kira for you. I'm sorry it's come to this. I heart heart. Things got a little insane, apparently. Who knew crew blue? <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's adorable. That is super adorable, guys. Ain't that adorable? Not self, guys. That is super adorable. Anyway, there's this one mission I want to do right over here real quick. So let's do it. Why not? Let's get it out of the way. I know what this one is, and I'm going to do it. A poor little racetrack. Our top driver wants to face you on ring course, too. This baby's a little more difficult. Let's see if you can rise to the challenge. Oh, no! Another race! This is so bad! Not really. This is not that bad. But don't race at night like what I'm doing. This is actually not bad. It's actually kind of tame, to be honest. Just as long as this guy isn't bumping into you. Because, to be honest, you don't have to cross through every ring. It's just that sometimes this guy might come and, you know, block your way. But this mission really is not that bad. It, it's pretty easy to get the gold, actually. I got it in a couple of tries once I learned the track. And to be honest, I don't know the track completely, but I do kind of, I did get the gold eventually, but yeah, it is a little bit of annoying, like this part right here, it can be a little bit annoying, because, again, 
don't do this at night. Don't, don't, don't do this mission when it's the night part because it's hard to see. It really is. <laughs> cool. Just saying, it is hard to see at the night one. It is. But if you know what you're doing, this is not terrible. The rings are still in bad locations, but this is nothing compared to the one in, uh, against Errol. That one's utter bullshit. This one's not bad, I guess. But you don't have to cross through every ring. That's totally optional, really. You don't have to cross through every ring. That's just totally optional. But there are still people blocking your way, though. So, yeah, you might want to still be careful, though. Just saying, you still might want to be careful. It can be a little bit tricky to get the gold, kinda. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing. Because sometimes it has cost me a little bit of trouble to get the gold. All you have to do is just cross the... Like I said, it's really hard to see at the dark time like this. It really is a little bit hard to see at the night like this. Especially with how, uh... How dark it gets here. Holy shit. But, uh... Really, this is not so bad, to be honest. Getting the gold is a little bit tricky, a little bit, but, you know, it's not the worst thing ever, you know? It's nothing like, like I said, it's nothing, nothing like the race against, uh, what's his name? Uh, it's nothing like the race against Errol, and I mean nothing. That race is utter garbage. This is nothing compared to that. <laughs> this is tame. It sucks, but it's tame. Like, it doesn't make me rage quit or anything. People will still block your way, though. So, yeah, don't let people block your way. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think I'll get the gold because I screwed up a lot here. I think. At least I think I did anyway. The, the only really bad ring, I think, is probably this one right here because it's very easy to miss the turn on that one. It really is. And then there's this one right here that you have to do this really weird curve at. This, that one's not so bad once you know what to do. Once you know what to do, actually, this is not really all that bad, to be honest. Congratulations. You achieved the silver record. Oh, I got silver. Ah. I'll try again later for the gold. So I got silver. I guess that's better than nothing. I'll try for the gold later. The collectionist. Or is that... No, wait, that's the collectivist. I'm sorry, I wasn't reading right. Um, that... I think you get that once you get 120... 25 orbs. Precursor orbs. And I've got 129, so that's pretty good. What did I unlock? Let's check it out. Uh... Re oh, what? Uh, okay, there's something I can't seem to get here because, uh... Apparently I need something. I'm getting a little too many precursor orbs when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> at this point, at least. Um, I'm just trying to collect them all when necessary. Sorry, guys. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to the wrong di different direction because I'm going... Because if you're noticing, I can actually get Dark Jack's new ability. Finally! How long has it been since we've seen ja uh, Dark Jack's dark... Dark, uh, what was it? Dark Bomb? No, it wasn't Dark Bomb. It was Dark... What was it? I forgot. I forgot what the attack was that... Dark... Oh, oh, I don't know. I mean, it was probably many parts ago. I just forget shit. I are forget shit, Sumi. Uh, but yeah, anyway. What was I talking about? <laughs> uh, kind of lost track of shit. Um, yeah. We're nearing the end of the game, actually, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna end this Let's Play. Because I got a lot of extra stuff I'm gonna try and do. Hopefully even 100%ing this game. At least I don't, I don't think I will, though, because this game is... Extremely hard to 100% think it is. Oh yeah, and that's that really hard ring challenge I'll do later. I will do it later in the post game like I mentioned before. Trust me, that ring challenge is hectic. I tried going through it so many times and I've just been ugh. I lost my gosh darn mind, let's say that much. 
Seriously, some of these missions make me lose my gosh darn mind. It's the first time we've gone to the water slums in a long time. So, <laughs> hey, at least we're going back to visit again. So that's always good to know, right? <laughs> yeah, ouch. Ship's on fire. This ship is on fire. This ship is on I blew myself up. Because you know, I do that shit. Now that you carry the weight of darkness on your shoulders, you alone cannot save us. Our last hope rests with one still untouched by pain. And you must protect this young soul in our moment of truth. I grant you another dark power. Okay, now remember when you could only take a few hits? That you can only take one damage with Jack, well, with Dark Jack. Now he can't take any damage whatsoever. So if you are Dark Jack, yeah, you can do whatever the heck you want. You won't take any damage. Now here's the problem here is that once you turn Dark Jack, ugh, in this part, oh my gosh, it's super annoying. Because <laughs> once you turn Dark Jack, uh, in this one, you ha you ha you're, it's like you're using it. It's so dumb. Oh, wait. It didn't waste it? Oh, cool! I really thought it wasted it out of it. So pissed if it... I, I, that, I mean, I wouldn't have gotten pissed or anything because I kind of expected it, but... Okay, I'll take it! I'll definitely take it! Oh, that's new for me! Uh, anyway. Uh... I don't know if I should do another mission or something. Just another side mission or something. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Try to figure it out. Should I do more of the things or something? I don't know. That. Hmm. So there are some here that I could probably do, but some that are like. Eh, I'm not sure. <laughs> not out of sense here. If not, I could just go on with, uh, I guess I could just go to crew and go on from there, but I kind of want to do that in the next part. I don't really want to do that right away, because there are certain things that happen during uh, the next part that might be kind of important, so I kind of don't want to do that, kind of. It's really hard to explain. Uh, sorry if I have a bit of a runny nose right now, stupid allergies going on, and I, you know, Weather changes to cause me allergies, so if I sound a little bit congested, I'm sorry. Uh, weather changes, they are great, aren't they? <laughs> what was I talking about again? <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I was probably thinking of something silly. I found a, actually, I found one of these over here. What is this? Do I know what this one is? I don't even remember. What is this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what it is. Cause I actually don't remember this one. Oop, did not mean to do that. Um. Find the spot fast. Ah, uh, I know where that is. <laughs> Ironically, I do. If I can drive there fast, though. I have to drive all the way up there. Unless... Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea to get that one. I, I got an idea. It's gonna be a little bit risky, but I'm gonna try. Ah, I missed it. That's a good try, though. I'm gonna try that. That's one I didn't really get before. It's just that I never got it before, and I kind of want to get it. It's not hard. I'm sure it's not hard to get, so I'm, go I'm just gonna try something. I want to try something here. Wait, I need a vehicle, don't I? 
Yeah, I do. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to need a vehicle to reach that, because... I mean, it's not hard to get it. It's just that I'm gonna need a vehicle for this one, actually. I kind of just have to play a bit dirty. That's what I gotta do. Gotta play a little bit dirty. If I can reach it, anyway. Apparently, I don't know if that's the way to do it, because this is one I've never really practiced. So I, I'm kind of just kind of bullshitting here. I'm kind of just bullshitting here, to be honest. Because, you know, I do that. <laughs> I bullshit, I do that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how to do this one. I'm sure it's something involved with the vehicle. I'm sure of it. Maybe if I use a vehicle and then jump over it, maybe I could do that too. Sounds a little tricky. Sounds dangerous too. Oh my gosh, get out of the way so I can get this. Oh my gosh, those stupid guards. I almost had it. Those stupid guards got in my freaking way. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get this one, so I'm gonna restart it, because I need to find a stupid vehicle. That one was lying around. That's stupid. Sometimes this gets kind of stupid. Oh, look, there's a vehicle right there. That helps me quite a bit. There we go, I got it. That's kind of stupid, though. Thanks a lot. It's still kind of stupid to get, though. <laughs> Just saying it was. Anyway. Let's go fly to Cruise Place. Or formally Cruise Place, I guess. Better said. Better said than that. Your ground movement is dead. Wee, you missed me. I thought there was something here, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there was something around here, because I was just looking. I'm looking around at the... You know what? It's just... Whoa, that was bad in more ways than one. Well, uh... <laughs> Looks like I missed my chance. I'm gonna go hide now, because I kind of want to try to see if I can do this now. I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> Uh, cause I think that's a good idea to go hide. At least I think so, it's a good idea to hide. <laughs> Hold on a moment, guys. You can't find me, you guys can't find me. They can't find me. I don't know for how long you can stay in the water, though. Okay, there, they stopped following me. Good! I don't want them following my ass. But anyway, I want to try this race one more time to see if, since it's daytime now, I want to see if I can do this race again. I have already read that. I'm going to try to see if I can get the gold this time. Because it's daytime, it's easy to see. So, I'm going to try it again. Although it is impressive I was able to get the silver at night, so that's, pre that's pretty good, actually. I thought that was pretty good. But not really, this is not that bad. This is nothing like that race with Errol. It really isn't. So, don't worry, it's not that bad. I kind of, um, I just, uh, this, I overreacted for jokes. Just saying I overreacted to make a joke. I really did. <laughs> Cause you know, I try to be funny that way. I do that. <laughs> I do that quite a bit, I try to be funny. <laughs> Once you get the gold, you're done with this one. Even though you can race whenever, as many times as you want here, you don't have to. So yeah. You can do this for as long as you want. You don't really have to. Don't get up, don't fall into the water. Fall into the water, you're screwed. So yeah, don't fall into the water. I did that one time, and it was bad for me. 
Uh, the only thing that I can consider bad about this is if you crash into one of the cars. But other than that, in the air. But other than that, no, this mission is not bad. I almost fell into the water there. Don't fall into the water for any reason whatsoever. Don't. <laughs> and the guy that you're racing is really easy. To, is really easy to deal with. So even if you're, even if you win, you're gonna beat him anyway. So it kind of doesn't matter what you do here. You don't have to pass through every ring. At least I don't think so. It'll just add more speed, at least. Like I said, I don't think so. I've only done this once, and then again, these people keep blocking your way. <laughs> That's why it's a, it's a problem. It's still a problem. I mean, it still sucks, but it's, it doesn't make me rage quit or anything. I probably already screwed it because I crashed into a wall. Like I said, the ring designs are still bad, but they are optional, so I guess that's a good thing. Good thing they are optional. They <laughs> were—I probably will. I probably would lose it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think I might have failed it. Congratulations! You achieved the gold record. Oh no, I got it! Sweet! I actually got it! I got the gold record! Oh yeah! Uh huh! I'm awesome! I'm awesome! Oh yeah! Uh huh! But yeah, you don't have to do that mission again, even though it's all, it's gonna be open whenever you wanna do it, so no worries. How many does that make? 135! Oh, uh, the reverse races, what it does is you can actually, uh, the reverse races, they're like these races that you compete, and then they're like the class 1, 2, and 3 races, but they're reverse. I'm surprised I unlocked that one before I unlocked the one that's 125. How ironic. <laughs> How very ironic. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Since we're really close to crew, let's just go head toward there. Like I said, I don't know if I'll 100% this. I'm actually doing good, really good with Precursor Orbs right now. But I'm not sure. I don't think I'll 100% this. Because it can be tricky. Um, and that one right there. We'll talk about that one later. Um, but anyway, um, that, that side mission right there. We'll talk about that one another day. Um, but anyway. We're gonna end things off here. So next time in Let's Play Jack 2, we'll be go seeing what's going on in Crew's place. Even though he's dead now. And, you know. There's something going on here, but, you know, Crew's not here, so I'm sure there's just some kind of party going on. Probably some drinking with some booze or something, or... Or... Maybe there's some, uh, maybe, uh... Ah, screw it, I already rated this. Uh, maybe there's some... Maybe there's some strippers with some guys on tables, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this has been Angel Star 291 saying goodbye and see you guys in part 18.